Look at this, a traveling artist is here in Portland, and if you look carefully, you just might see his art around town. The Impossible Winterborn is a children's book author, and he makes steam bots, and he is here tonight. Hello, The Impossible Winterborn! Hello! This is so exciting! Welcome to Portland! Well, thank you very much for having me. I'm very pleased to be here. So how would you describe what you actually do? Street art, what, what, how do you describe it? Well, yes, it is street art, and um, the book that I wrote is based on my street art designs. I used to make cardboard robots and put them up on buildings, and that led to me sketching a lot of robots, and I wanted to compile them, and so I did so in an alphabet book. That's so cool. So yeah, basically you go, you travel to different parts of the country. Have you ever gone international? I have, yes, I have things in London, Germany, Canada, and Mexico. What? So this is you on Alberta Street, of course, because you, you walk around town when you're here in Portland or wherever else, you're based in Austin, Texas. That's true. And you just install all kinds of cool things so that people will just walk by and, and enjoy them and say, oh, this is beautiful. So there's one of your things. Basically, that is the idea. That's so cool. So this one you actually installed last time you were in Portland. So how many months has it actually been there? Uh, that was done in February. That's so cool. And it's still there just keeping Portland awesome to look at, right? <laughs> but then today, we actually got to follow you back out to Alberta Street or That's around right. Alberta to see you install a new piece. Yes. So we have video of that, and this was pretty cool to actually see you in action. Look at this. Okay, so first you gotta glue it, of course. What do you call them? Do you have different names for each of I the do. pieces? I do. The one that we did today is called a skull bot, because oh, it resembles a skull. Oh, uh-huh. So there's the skull bot, and there's the Impossible Winterborn climbing on top of graffitied garbage and recycling bins <laughs> and putting this on the wall in this cool alley. How do you pick the spots that you're gonna install things? Uh, like you said, I do have different styles and so I try to pick one that goes with the environment that I'm putting it in. Yeah, that's so cool. Do you ever pick a spot and then it just, it doesn't work? Um, yes, <laughs> sometimes it falls right off the wall and I have to just take it home and or leave it there for somebody to pick up. Yeah, well hopefully no one comes and steals this one because it looks beautiful. The skull bot is there off Alberta Street. We won't tell you exactly where it is, but if you do find it, take a picture and tweet at us, at Cassidy Tonight, and uh, then we'll, we'll retweet it because that would be cool if you found it. Now, of course, we also mentioned, oh, so first we have one of your other sculptures. Absolutely. That you're gonna, are you gonna install this while you're still in Portland? Yes, this will go somewhere. I haven't picked out a place for it yet, but um, it's a face uh, and it will go either on a tree or a building or something, I'll find some place for it. That's so cool. Now while you're super busy creating all this awesome artwork, you also have written a children's book. I have. And sometimes you do readings of it, and we have a very special reader of this book. Emmett, do you want to come out and do a little reading of it for us? How many times do you think you've read this book? Probably about three or something. Okay, oh. so you have it memorized. No, just kidding. <laughs> do you have a, a, a favorite page in the book? Yes. So. Uh, Impossible Winterborn. What, what is your book about? What does it showcase? Um, it showcases robots. Yes! Which, you know, everybody loves robots. Right? right? Are uh, they nice and robots? And it's got his favorite, so he's gonna read his favorite page. Okay. Take us to your favorite page, Emmett. <laughs> I like how you're repping the Blazers, too. Thank you. Is there a Blazers bot? That would be cool. If there was, There's... that would be for B, I guess. Right? I like that. So yeah, it goes through the whole alphabet, of course. Yeah. It's the alphabots. Yes. So educational and cool all at the same time. What letter is your favorite page, Emmett? Um, is it E, e for Emmett? I yeah. got that. I figured you out. Okay. He's got it. Should I just turn it and show it? Sure. That's good. Sure. E is for. Wait, let me read this. <laughs> e, e is for EcoBot, mostly made of trees. Oh! That is the perfect Portland bot, too. Yeah. Of course the EcoBot would be from Portland. What's, what did you first think when you met the Impossible Winterborn, Emmett? I thought he was probably gonna turn out to be a billionaire or something. <laughs> well, if everyone goes and buys his book. <laughs> he really likes the mustache. Oh, the mustache yeah. is pretty sweet. And everyone that we saw in Al on Alberta Street when we were out there installing beautiful, well you were, I was not helping, I was just watching from afar. I was like, who is this? This is so cool. So thank you, Emmett. Thank you, Impossible Winterborn. Where can people follow you if they want to keep following all your adventures? Uh, I'm on Instagram at The Impossible Winterborn, and com. I'm on Facebook at The Impossible Winterborn, <laughs> and my website is the same, The Impossible yes. Winterborn. Dot so. com, as Emmett said. Thank you guys very much, and have a good rest of your time thank in Portland. You.